Hi, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching, and with the help of Academy Sports Coach uh, 2022, I want to talk to you about a drill that I've created um, that I've been using a lot with my um, my U12s. Um, I think at that age we have a lot of players that are technically sound. Um, at that point, you know, if they're still playing and they're playing at a high level. Um, they're definitely uh, you know good on the ball. Whether it's you know they they feel comfortable with passing, and receiving. Whether they're a very technical player that can go through players, uh, whatever it is. Um, but I think it's really at the age where it's difficult and we're trying to get them to understand the spatial elements of the game. You know, they, they probably know at this point width and depth and things like that, but getting them to understand how we can go back and through or, or transitioning and switching the field is definitely a concept where they're just starting to kind of get the cognitive ability to be able to understand that at a higher level across the board. Some players will get that earlier. Some players will get that later. Um, I really have I've been you know, focusing on getting them to understand the ball doesn't always have to go forward. In fact, when it does go forward, sometimes we're just, you know, bashing our heads against the wall and trying to go through a line of defense. When we'd gone back and then found a better solution, we probably could have gone forward even faster than if we tried to dribble through, you know, five, six guys and try to play through a ball to their goalkeeper. Um, so one drill that I really like enjoy doing um, to teach this concept is this back and through um, um, Rondo game we have here. So we, the way we set it up is we have um, – uh, I usually use a 44 and uh, about a 30 by 30 grid, but you can adjust that to what you have and what's available to you. Uh, we have a turf field, so it's kind of already lined out. I use um, part of the regular 18, um, and I think it just kind of makes it a little easier. But cones, you know, whatever it is, uh, works perfectly. So this 44, it's um, I don't usually put in a pass number, pass limit. I'm trying to create heck chaos within it. You know, hey, you, you got a lot of guys on you. If you just try to play within the middle, it's a 4v4 in a very tight space. It's very difficult. Uh, but you can do that. You can create a system where it's if you you create three passes, you can go to an outside guy, something along those lines. Um, but totally up to you. So the way I do it is um, you can use the bummer players at any time. The bummer players are on your side. It's an 8v4 in, in theory. So if you pass to them, okay, anyone in black can receive it. They can play to any other bumper player. That's fine. Um, Yellow then can, though, press that ball. They're not just totally free players sitting by themselves. So you're playing it to these outer areas. It almost creates like a secondary grid around it. You can even create that if you wanted. If you want to create just a, a, an outside area that they could play in, um, that's totally fine as well. I just like to make it kind of free play, create chaos. You know, if the ball goes out, it's a, it's a change of possession. But you can do it like this. Um, so the way that the black team can score a point though, is if they play to a bumper player and the bumper player is able to go back and through to the player directly opposite of them, they score a point. So if this player would play to the, the wide bumpers, then it wouldn't count, just be kind of, uh, they would keep possession. But if they're able to go back and through, uh, they score the point. So the concept is, listen, if you play back to this player, the defense, everyone defensively is going to get compact here. They're going to go to the ball, they're going to pressure it, they're going to try to create, um, a net here to ward you off. If that happens, bang, you bet, play back, you can play it through, and it's going to create space on the back side. So you're creating a situation where their goal is not to go back. That you know, it's, there, there is no back. You're, you're playing in a, a pretty open-ended, uh, non-directional game. But if you play to the bumper player who should be back, if they're in the game, you can start seeing how that will create space on the other side. So they can go again. You know, it's not truly back in the game, but create the concept of back and through back to go um, this pass here to draw the pressure and then back over the top through uh, to um, alleviate the pressure. So the way we teach it is um, I call this pass, the outlet pass It's relieving pressure. This guy's got his back turned to our, where our goal is our goal or our target, our target playing this player. So he's going to be under a lot of pressure. The pass back here relieves that pressure. It's an outlet for that pressure. This pass we really focus on should be a, short, a soft pass, enough pace. It's firm enough that it gets there before these guys get there. But it's in a way that this player can play one touch, bang, right over the top and through. Um, it's not whipped at them because it's whipped at them. They're going to have to take a, a second or third touch to set it up. And when that happens, this player is going to be running at them. Um, that's no good. Um, and we want to play this ball. The third thing is we want to play this ball across in a way that it's lofted, but with pace, so it's not just in the air so that this team can then transition. But it's in a way that this player then can take it down out of the air, one touch, and play. Um, so you're teaching a lot of these different elements and theories of the back and through pass, but you're making it in a game-like situation, and you're making it so that they're, they're having fun because they're looking, like, oh, get it through, get it through. 
oh, you know, why didn't you play through? Well, you didn't play through because you blasted it at my hip. I, I couldn't take it down, and they were already on me. Um, so they're getting to see a lot of the situations that will create a good back and through pass without specifically saying you have to go back to go forward because they want to go forward. So if you play this pass, you will go forward. Um, so it's rewarding that concept. And then after, you know, set time limit or a score, red will come in, yellow will go to the outside, and you keep rotating until every single team has been on the bumpers. Um, so I really enjoy this drill uh, for teaching back and throughs. Uh, it's a really great back and through rondo. Um, and so, again, my name is Matt Carroll with World Class Coaching, with Academy Sports Coach. I uh, hope this drill finds you well.